I'm two weeks out. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to my vlog. Maybe it's not morning when you're watching this, so take that part back. Hey, welcome to my vlog. If you're just tuning in for the first time, if this is your first video you're seeing, my name is Lauren. I am preparing for my first bikini competition. I am two weeks out and also I know there's a like a random nest behind me and I just want you guys to know that I'm not always like this. My room looks like this because my husband and I are between places um, for another month and a half. So I just had to throw that out there because I'm starting to get a little bit embarrassed about how dirty and disorganized it looks. This week is a big week because I get to have some posing lessons with an actual IFBB pro. I'm expecting some changes to my diet coming up. I don't know what they are, but um, I'm kind of ready for some changes. I'm about to go meal prep and I'm going to take you guys with me. But I'm looking in the mirror and this hat isn't working with this. Let me fix my hair and take this hat off. Sorry for the mismatch. All right, I don't know. You know, I'm noticing from watching my videos, I clap a lot in my video. I don't mean to, I guess I'm just a hand talker. Anyway, let's talk to my coach and my meals aren't really gonna change this week. I'm about two weeks out, everything's kind of staying the same. I know a few days later I'm gonna have to expect that my carbs will be lowered or taken away. That hasn't happened yet for me, so I'll just like make three days worth of food right now so I don't waste food down the road if coach tells me not to have a certain meal or or whatever. I know my diet's gonna change, but as of right now, it stays the same, um, and I've got to meal prep a little bit. I'm so excited for this competition. It's getting so close, and uh, I'm excited to have some different food than what I've been having. I don't mind my meal prep, it's good, and I've been changing and it's working obviously but um I sure would like some cheese fries or buffalo wild wings and Domino's pizza I personally love jalapeno pineapple pizza and don't knock it till you try it because it's like sweet and spicy and it's so good oh my gosh I gotta go guys I'm starting to like get really hungry and I'm meal prepping and I don't need to be thinking of beans <sighs> the struggle If you guys saw my last video, you already know. I can't take credit. I got tired of my own green beans. Yeah. Except for Marco. Yum. It's making me so. Oh no, I need a little bit more. This rice is amazing. I make large portions of whatever I don't eat. I know my husband will want carbs counting down the days. I know it's gonna be soon. I won't get as many. I love you guys. I love you. This is my half cup measure that I broke the handle off of. In case you were wondering, well, I'm just gonna use the handle to scrape it out, I guess. Oh, doesn't this look so fancy? I'm broken equipment. Sorry guys, I get a little carried away talking about food. We'll slide into the next clip. I am on my way to Madison, Alabama. A two and a half hour drive for me, um, but totally worth it because I'm going to meet up with IFBB Pro Tanya Boardman. She is going to give me a posing lesson. I'm so excited, guys. I need this. It's time I start really tuning it in and fine tuning my routine. Obviously, I don't know from experience because this is my very first bikini show, but from everyone I speak to, everything I'm hearing is your routine can make or break you. You can have the entire packaged hair or looks or makeup, but if you don't have good stage presence, it can break you. I did not come this far and work this hard, miss out on eating Reese's for this long to not have good routine. In two miles, uh, take the exit to merge onto I-565 East. I need to turn soon. Maybe I'll even be able to get some footage of this lesson so I can show you guys a little bit what my composing lesson is going to be like. It's getting so real! <laughs> Alright guys, so let's talk about posing. Posing is something that people often underestimate. I definitely did before I understood the sport and yes, I'm still trying to learn and understand currently. So in bikini division, your goal is to make your waist look as small as you can and you want to really accentuate that tiny waist, 
pop out your uh, glutes a lot more and you're gonna get uncomfortable. So you can see me twisting right now. I'm trying to show her, the judge, my smallest waist I can. And um, while I'm turning, I'm gonna be keeping my glutes out at an uncomfortable distance. Uh, I'm figuring out that while you pose, you're gonna get uncomfortable and it's gonna feel really awkward and really weird. But when they say push that tush out, you really need to do it. Like extra, be super extra with it. And then it might turn out right. Now, I'm not speaking about experience because I really don't know if I'm doing it right just yet. So if you need more in-depth advice, I recommend going to another video. But um, this is me, this is my journey, and I am seriously learning something new every single day, and that's part of the addiction. Um, honestly, I just love being able to grow constantly through this sport, and uh, I'm learning, learning a lot about myself, guys. It's pretty cool. routine so far. Here's me hitting that front pose, trying to accentuate a tiny waist. Transition to the back, push that to shot. I need to do it a little bit more. Ah, there it is. And I'm going to transition again to the front now. You'll see that uh, when I exit, I'm going to raise my left armpit because I don't want the judges to see that. That's it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for your continued support through this prep. It has been the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm getting close and I'm gonna get there. This has been such an awesome journey so far. If you like my video, press the like button. Subscribe if you wanna see how my competition turns out. And write me a comment. And if you have any advice for me I'm during my first prep, during my first competition, I would love to know. I need to know. I need as much help as I can get right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video.